Hoy día estamos con Armin Van Buren en los 40. Armin, how are you doing? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Armin, do you speak Spanish? Un, po un poco de poquito, no, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry. Uh, well, the first one, uh, how has it been uh, the beginning of this 2023? I've seen you in many tours, many shows. Uh, actually, recently, a new edition of A State of Strength. Yes. Well, it was the biggest trans event in the world, I'm proud to say. We finally celebrated episode 1000. Can you believe it? 20 years. I started the radio show in 2001. And uh, yeah, I was so happy to bring back the event because the last one we did was right before the pandemic uh, in 2020. And, uh, you know, we were trying to celebrate ep episode 1000, but it happened in the middle of the pandemic. So people still owed like a special show so i did that show last friday and i played a six hour set with lots of classics and uh yeah yeah it was, was really amazing yeah i saw some of that in your instagram so it looks great yeah it was no i was i'm still on cloud now cloud nine actually because you know the fans and and, and the production and well you saw it on instagram it was just insane well, we're waiting for the same here in Lola Baluza, Chile. You have been here many times. I don't know if you remember something about Chile. Yes, I've been uh, actually, you know, I've been playing Chile for so many times already. Like years ago, I did a state of trance. I did the cream fields. I played sensation white in Chile. Yes. Uh, yeah, I have some of my best memories because I always think it's one of the best crowds in Latin America, you know. For any DJ, I think they will all tell you the same story that playing in Latin America is just a, a party because the people just go crazy, you know. And as even in my documentary, I think from 2009, can you can you believe that? Yeah. It's a year with Armin Van Buren and there's a shot where the camera goes into the crowd and you see the whole crowd going crazy. And yeah, I've, I have a lot of really good memories about uh, playing in Chile. So I'm so excited to come back. Uh, maybe, I don't know if you know, knew uh, another places, uh, not only Santiago, maybe Viña del Mar, I don't know. I haven't really had time to visit a lot of these other places, but you know what? Um, I'm really excited to see some of them. I know like a lot of people in Chile have told me that you can be on the beach and go skiing on the same day in Chile. Yes. Is that true? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> that's something I want to try. And uh I'm into kite surfing, so I would maybe try because we have a few days off. You know, after I do the show, I'm staying three days in Chile. So I actually hired a studio in Santiago, believe it or not. And I'm actually going to make music in Santiago and I'm going to hopefully enjoy some of the food, you know, empanadas maybe or, you know, really? something like that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just super excited. I'm, I'm not there just for the show. I'm there for the for the for the environment. And I just hope to have a great time there. Yeah, I don't know if you drink. Mm. I quit no. drinking alcohol three years okay. ago. Yeah. Okay, no, because everybody recommended wine over here, but is that for I asked before? Well, my wife. I'll bring a bottle for my wife. Please. <laughs> <laughs> um, previously, uh, you have been in Lola Palusa, and you have been, you will be there again. Uh, you can tell us about your new show. I don't know. Maybe it's a, a total surprise, but who knows. Well, I think in my show, you can expect some of my big hits, of course, you know, the tracks that everybody knows, but you can also expect some some brand new uh, versions or, or brand new tracks. Actually, that's really funny because end of March, I'm dropping my new album. It's going to be released. It's going to be called Feel Again Part 3. So I split my album in three parts. Uh, part one was released last year, May. Uh, part two was released in October last year, and now end of March will will be all like the whole trilogy. So the whole album will be like thirty five tracks, uh, so much so much songs, and uh, yeah. So I have a lot of songs that already came out and already are available, and I have a lot of songs that are brand new. So I really can't wait to to play all the new stuff as well. So I'm so excited because nobody's yeah. heard it. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting. So we hope to hear a some of that over here. Uh, I know in Europe we, the, you have a lot of producers, DJs, but I don't know if you knew some over here in Latin America. Not a lot, but I know that like the Latin American artists are getting more and more popular also in Europe, you know, in the US and Asia. 
So like, especially from Brazil and uh, I've also some Chilean artists I know that are also super popular in, in other countries, you know, but um, I think it's a global thing now anyway, you know, when I play a track, I don't really know if somebody comes from, I don't know, uh, Japan or Australia or from Chile. If it's good music, then, you know, it's good music. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you remember some names over from over here. No, no, not, not but one because we have them. a lot. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah. We we hope you can uh hear them here in Lola. So Yes, it would be nice. Yeah. It would yeah, be nice. of course. Um what are the things we can expect from you this 2023? We 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 talk about your new disc. I don't know if we have more maybe date, um, uh, I mean day tours or something else. Oh yeah, there's uh my big single coming is coming out called On and On, which is something I'm really really excited about. Um, and I just celebrated episode 1000 of A State of Trance with a massive show in the Yarbrough in Utrecht. So it was uh, it's the world's biggest trance event with 55,000 people coming to the show. It was crazy. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring out some of that music, of course, with me for my Lola Palooza shows. And uh, yeah, the focus will be on uh, on on the new singles from the album. And I already finished the next singles for after this album. I already they're already done. So yeah, I'm excited, very excited. You have you have a lot of job over this year. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> cool. Um. Well, any collaboration, maybe. With Chilean artists, I would love to. I like I said, I rented the studio, but uh, yeah, no, there's some some really cool stuff coming on on the album. I can't say too much yet, but uh, yeah. I know. Thank you, Armin, for your time. We hope to see you here. I can't wait. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>